Hey guys, Seven WWE Rocks here, and I'm gonna be talking about some Ring of Honor news today because they posted a picture, uh, just a picture of a logo with uh, a date. So it was 10 1 16, uh, October 1st, 2016. That is the day of their uh, TV tapings from uh, Boston, I believe, because uh, that's where the pay per view is. Uh, all Star Extravaganza at 8 on Friday, and then Saturday will be the TV taping, so that's the October 1st. So, the picture was the logo, the new logo of the kingdom. So, I made a video about this a while ago, back in April, because Matt Taven announced around that time that he was reforming the kingdom. So, I made a video about it, talked about who I thought would be in the group and whatnot, but now it is official. Matt Taven will be leading it. Um, they have a new logo. Kind of the same thing as the original one. The original one was, you know, the crown with the cross going right down the middle of it. It was like a red and yellow uh, color scheme. But this one is blue and white. It's pretty much the same thing. The crown in the middle, but uh, the cross is actually going through it like diagonally. So it's not going right down the middle. So it had me thinking once again, can Matt Taven uh, lead a group? I asked the same question during that video I, t I, I just talked about a few seconds ago. Um... They will be competing for the trio's titles uh, because uh, the tournament starts on All-Star All Extravaganza 8 at the pay-per-view. And then uh, the TV tapings have said on the website that uh, so far Bullet Club, The Cabinet, and uh, The Kingdom will be competing in the first round tournaments, I'm sure. So um, we don't know who the, who, uh, the Bull, who's representing the Bullet Club. We don't know, of course, who's re representing The Kingdom. We do know, of course, uh, The Cabinet um, is A&X and Caprice Coleman. So The Kingdom. I really like thought about this because I feel like once I see it, you know, spoilers and whatnot of who is in the kingdom, I'm going to be like, of course, it, obviously it's got to be them. Uh, but right now I'm struggling to think who would fit in the group, especially with Matt Taven um, leading the group because the original kingdom you had, you know, at first you had Matt Hardy, you had Mike Bennett, you had Adam Cole. Um, so like all of them were pretty good. Bennett was the lower guy and then, you know, Hardy kind of the bigger name, but Cole, you know, was up there. Um, now it went to, or then it went to Cole, Bennett, and Taven. You knew Cole was always a leader. So with Taven being the leader, not saying that he's not like, you know, like a good like wrestler, because I, I think Taven's uh, good. I think he's fun in the ring and stuff. He's exciting to watch. Um, but you don't think of him as leader. So now if he is the leader, the two other guys um, in the kingdom will have to be kind of lower level honestly because if you have two guys that are like you know much better than him like like let's say red dragon i'm not saying this happened but if red dragon joined you know kyle riley and bobby fish they're doing better things than matt taven so it got me thinking i'm checking the roster right now um maybe he does some uh the prospects i know there's a prospect team you know the ring of honor prospect tournament they had uh they're actually putting together a three-man team for the trio's titles um, maybe he picks some, like, guys from the Prospect Tournament, um, that, I know that, uh, what's his name, Punishment Martinez, he's aligned with BJ Whitmer, and he's, like, killing people, so maybe him, because he's not really a big name, but they're really pushing him, it seems like. Um, I've always hoped ACH, honestly, just because I want them to do something, but then again, ACH and Matt Taven, kind of at the same level, I guess, I would put ACH higher, but, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, this is... Just going through the roster, it's tough. I, I'm pretty sure they don't even have everybody on like the official roster page. But <sighs> Matt Seidel would be cool, but I I don't know. I don't know if Matt Seidel would join it. But uh, in the video I originally made about this back in April, I said like War Machine. I said A and X. A and X obviously can't because they're with the cabinet. They're the cabinet now. Um, War Machine maybe, but they're feuding with uh, Keith Lee and Shane Taylor, so. I don't know. I mean, it could be it could be pretty much anyone. Maybe some like uh, guys from Mexico because I know Taven just got back from CMLL, so uh, maybe it's guys from Mexico. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but let me know what you guys think. I don't know. I'm I'm just trying to think about it. I really just going off the roster page. I don't really see anyone that would kind of fit in a in a new stable. Honestly, that's just me. But I mean, let me look. Let me see who's at the tapings and stuff. But let me know in the comment section who you think. Um, would be a good fit, you know, who do you think would be with Matt Taven, do you think Matt Taven can uh, even run a group on his own as leader, um, right now they're really doing a lot of stuff with these trios, titles and stuff, so it seems like a lot of the fo Ring of Honor's focus right now is all these three-man teams and these stables, so I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing, at, at the moment I kind of think it's too much, um, but we'll see, yeah, just going up, maybe like Dragon Lee, I guess, I don't know, um, Donovan Dijak. I like Donovan Dijak. That'd be pretty cool. Um, uh, maybe JY. Yeah, Punishment Martinez, maybe. Maybe even Will Ferrara. 
Jason Kincaid, I think he is in the tournament. I think he's that, like, ultra-violent death guy. Correct me if I'm wrong, but, um, yeah, I don't know. That's tough. Maybe Dragon Lee or someone, but we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter, at 7 Rocks. Are you a fan of Kingdom being reunited or reforming with Matt Taven as lead? Do you think they should have just gone to TNA? He should have just gone to TNA? We'll see. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're watching SmackDown tonight, enjoy it, and as always, have a great day.